Welcome back. To talk about what is happening at the Brockville Arts Center, we have a staff member with us, which happens to be Victor Kitschkowski. So, Victor, welcome to the program. Nice to see you again. Hey, listen, what is happening at the end of April down at the Arts Center? What Cent isn't happening I at the Arts Center? I know there's always so much. Exactly. Month is almost over, yeah. yet we're, we've got a film coming up, as well as a very special evening with... Uh, with people from the Brothel Music Festival. Whoa. Yes. Did you want to hear about the film? Please. I, I, I think you even said you might even come to this one. Wicked the, Little Letters. Uh, yeah, I, I, I've got it down on my calendar to come for a matinee. So we'll see if it works out. Great cast. Uh, Olivia Coleman. Mm -hmm. A lot of people are very fond of her. Remember her from The Queen as well as many other things. Uh, other names we might know. Jesse Buckley, Timothy Spall. Little town in England. Letters yeah. start appearing through people's letterboxes, and the letters are a little roughly worded. I'll put it that way. This film is not for those who are offended by words easily. It's called Wicked Little Letters for a reason. But it should be very entertaining because you know what the Brits are like when it comes to comedies. So, Yeah, and, and yes. the British know how to do it too. Absolutely. They so really do. Yeah. April 26th and 27th matinees and evening showings. So. Have the dinosaurs arrived yet? They are on their way. If you oh. hear the if you hear the ground shaking a little bit. It was so, yesterday yeah. up home. It was. But really? Yeah. So they are on their way. Oh, then. okay. May the second. Still some seats to be had for that. It's sold really well. It's something God. different for us. And it's a mix of of people and people huge dinosaur I, I don't want to say puppets because they're more than puppets mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but there will be dinosaurs on stage to some degree interacting with the audience too so it sounds like quite a production wow. uh I don't know my dinosaurs. There's a whole list of dinosaurs, but I don't know their names. I can't even say their names. <laughs> They're yay long, right? Exactly, with <laughs> horns and teeth and all the rest <laughs> of it. You got it. <laughs> but it's for all ages. It should be a lot of fun. Okay. May 2nd at 6.30 in the evening. A little earlier for that show because it is catering towards a younger, exactly. younger set. So, exactly. Yes. And you want to, yeah, you want to make sure that they have the opportunity. Absolutely. Great. Dancing. Dancing, Could lots of dancing it? coming on in uh, May. Mm -hmm. So, our usually our busiest season and can dance weekend of May 10th and 12th. They've, can dance has been coming to Brothel for many years now, and yeah, it is have. the biggest revenue generator for the Arts Center every single year. Mm -hmm. And the city, over 2,000 people come in. If you include all the parents yes. and the kids, you end up with 2,000 easily descending on the city and spending uh, the weekend here. That's nice. So it's an exciting competition. People from all over uh, eastern Ontario, uh, up the Ottawa Valley, the entire region, mm -hmm. in this huge national dance competition. This is one of the lower tier rounds yes. if, before they go to the nationals. So, Victor, can people actually come and watch then? People are very welcome to come and watch. Oh, they, oh, they are? Okay. Yes. okay, okay, okay. Yes, there's no admission. Uh, there is a capacity limit. Yes, So yes. If, once it gets filled with parents and so on, it, uh, yeah. that might be it. But people, mm -hmm. the public, are very welcome okay. to come and watch. Okay. Same applies to the weekend after, the Believe Dance competition, which is a more local event. Mm -hmm. But... The kids are just as enthusiastic. Trust me, <laughs> the parents are just as enthusiastic. <laughs> and uh, it's a chance for the little ones to get on stage, show them, show us what they can do. And it's really important to actually learn to perform in front of an audience. For a lot of people, that's really it scary is. to do. And once you get your head around that, it's amazing what you can pull off. Well, yeah. And yeah. I mean, that's a big stage for a little one. It really is. Yeah. It really is. And we've been going through that this week with the Brothel Music Festival. A lot of really young kids just starting their way on the piano Aww. and other instruments. Mm -hmm. And uh, and we've had some amazing performances. And that culminates, I should mention, on Tuesday, April 30th. Okay. Uh, evening performance called Stars of the Festival, where winners of the music festival get to show off what they what they can do. Tickets are only $10 for that. Well, and it's a great reasonable. event on, on, on that evening. First. And we have a lot of talent. And I mean, the mm -hmm. adjudicators are the ones that, that do choose who Absolutely. goes on. And they know yes. their stuff. They're, they're yep. professionals from 
different walks of life from mm -hmm. out of town, but music is in their blood and they know what they're talking about. You're right. Yes. You're so right. I understand that St. Mary's Catholic High School, they are coming up with a, um, I don't know, is it a musical? Newsies is a musical. Every yeah. year, St. Mary's cool. does do something at the Arts Centre. Okay, okay. And again, young people getting on stage, showing us what they can do, mm -hmm. showing us their passion. Because mm -hmm. it comes through when you're on stage. If you're passionate about it, yeah, the audience feels it, right? So Newsies, a musical set in New York in 1899. <laughs> Kids selling newspapers. Yeah. And of course, the big evil newspaper baron pulls a fast one on them and they find themselves out of jobs selling papers and they decide to organize and, uh, and change things. <laughs> so it's a, it's a message about what young people can do when they organize uh, and, uh, mm -hmm. and get together and try and change the world. So yes. it should be very entertaining. And of course, the kids love performing and we love seeing them. Oh, what else do you have uh, in May? We have more films in May. Do you? May the 3rd and 4th. The <laughs> film One Life. Oh. Which, again, a little more serious. Uh, Sir Nicholas uh, Winton, a uh, young, uh, young London broker who, in the months leading up to the World War II, rescued over 600 children from Nazi occupied oh. Czechoslovakia. Oh, my heavens. So, quite a serious story. Yeah. Anthony Hopkins plays the lead role. Oh, does he? And you know what an accomplished actor he is. So, Definitely. you know it's going to be a good, a, a good and interesting film well. and a well produced film, also. Definitely. So, Definitely. Yeah. Um, another film you've heard, uh, you may have heard of. 500 Days of the World. I just saw a bit of a clip on that on the CBC News the other night. Did you? Uh, a woman by the name of Diane Whalen, uh, who wrote, directed, filmed this film, yes. crosses Canada by herself following the Trans Canada Trail. So she oh. goes to all three coasts, spends, I think, and literally spent 500 days. No, nothing mechanical with her. She just had kayak to paddle or with her backpack, her tent, I, she may have had a bike, oh that goes across the country, interacts with all kinds of interesting people along the way, has some interesting act uh, interactions with some animals, some pleasant, some less pleasant. <laughs> but of course, the cinematography in a film like this is going to be amazing. And of course, on our big screen, it will look fabulous. Yeah, I so May sure 23rd and 24th of that, for that. So I encourage people to come wow. out. Okay. Anything else you want to tell us about I now that you're on a you, roll? I could tell you all kinds of things because <laughs> June is filled with shows. July is filled with shows. Music for everyone's taste. Everything ranging from Andrew Lloyd Webber to mm -hmm. Meatloaf's Bat Out of Hell to um, It's Completely Escape Me. Um, just go online to the I BAC just and, and check go it online. out. We've got some jazz coming up, some southern rock and soul and blues, and some just some fun 60s, 70s, and 80s music. So go online, brothelartscenter.ca, see what's coming up. Uh, you can either book online, come to the uh, box office, or call us at the box office if you yeah. need some help. We're happy to help you. That's why we're there. And and as you say, there is. There's something here for everyone. If you if you like watching, you know, the young people dance, mm -hmm. then go to it. There's movies, musicals. Absolutely. The Arts Centre is for everyone, yes. in this community and outside this community's borders too. Everyone's welcome and the more people we get in, get a chance to get exposed to theatre. It's, it's an amazing experience for those who've never done it, you know, right. a live yes. show, there's nothing like a oh, live show. Oh, there's nothing like a live show. So That's it's true. always worth to come down and You're right. see what's going on. Thank you for sitting down with me, I appreciate it. Always, uh, always welcome, Brian.